are some good ways to manage inventory. So you know, the, I think the, the best thing to do is to look at your menu and, and based on how big that is, it might be one page, it might be like a Cheesecake Factory where you have you know, 50 pages. But you need to figure out all the products you're bringing in and then really realize, okay, we have X number of, of meat dishes, X number of vegetables, and figure out ways to cross utilize different you know, steaks, chicken, bacon, sauces, things like that that help, A, they help with your labor costs because you don't have as many people working on a bunch of different types of, of products, but then you also have less, num you have less waste at the end of the day because you don't have as many products that you have to go through. So I think you need to look at your menu, audit your menu, and figure out what are we not moving enough of or what, what do we only have on the menu at one place here in the back of the menu that nobody ever looks at that we can maybe add to the appetizers also or use the, uh, the, the steak from that appetizer for you know, an entree special. Um, so I think it's, it's auditing your menu, but then also you know, I think it's really important to be on top of your staff to know that, okay guys, we're running a business here. You know, at the end of the day, it's my assets on the line. And if we don't keep things tight, if we don't really focus on, on doing the, the best work we, know we can while also sticking to the business core that we really need to to be successful, then we're going to lo lose. We're going to have to close up shop and we'll all have to find jobs. So I think it's really getting your staff to buy into the fact that, hey, we're a business and we need to make money and let's try and have a good time in the process.